Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and in case you don't know, you missed yesterday, today's Mother's Day, and my son and I are leaving. So I'll see you later. And my wife, his mom, is gonna stay home with the other kids. So yeah, uh, this should be a fun Mother's Day. Let's go. Let's do this real quick. All right, we are well on our way to go to this place. It should be pretty cool. I I'm curious if I can do it or not. Obviously, I'm not doing it today, but are you excited for it, buddy? You really don't even know what it is. I really want to. I really want to go. Did you even look it up? Do you have any idea what this thing is? No, I know it's like an obstacle course. It's an obstacle course. I'm not even. I'm not even exactly sure what it is. So this should be pretty interesting. understand that this is a little bit more of like a home movie type thing than it is a really good vlog. But just walking up the hill, I was a little tuckered out. I'm a little more out of shape than I really, really realized. And all in all, it was mainly about him. This was kind of his birthday present from my sister. And it just so happened she was able to take him on Mother's Day. So, I don't know, to take for what it is, but it was pretty cool, pretty fun, pretty exciting, even for me standing on the ground. I, I'm curious if I could do it myself. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I could actually sit in the harness and, and take those jolts and, and such like that uh, with my back. I don't even know if I can climb with my foot, but one of these days, we'll see, maybe in a year. I don't know. So the point is, did you like this? Was it yes. fun for you for today? Yeah, they tell you how to use the harness and the attachments for it. They did, they literally gave you a five minute instruction on how to use everything and then trust that you're gonna use it while you're up there and not do something wrong and fall to your death. You did have to sign a waiver. So that says something. Did you have a lot of fun though? Yes, I did. It was like really interesting. Now at one, at one point you got stuck there. Yeah, I was like on the log thing and then I was like too late. Well, you got, so you got, you got stuck, but how did you yeah. feel? Did you want to quit? Did you want to go home? I wanted did you to keep stop going? right at that moment. I was like, oh, but I don't you want to do this didn't, right? No, I kept going on. So do you, even though you were scared and you wanted to stop and quit because things weren't going your way, were you proud and happy of yourself that you kept going? Yes. And you got all the way to the end. Yeah. There's a bunch happy. of different courses. There's like mm -hmm. beginner, slightly more advanced, more advanced, more man. It, it's rated just like ski hills I've never been skiing but it's it's at the ski hills slopes whatever and it's rated just the same and if I was gonna do it I would just jump right to the advanced you're like you know 100 feet in the air going like crazy because I, I don't want I don't want to be just 10 feet in the air I, I want to be where it's kind of scary kind of dangerous that's what you're paying for right anyways 
So I was very proud that you kept going even though at some points you wanted to stop. At some points it was a little too difficult, but you overcame it and you kept going. And you got all the way to the end, to the big zip line. I'm that not. was the best part because it was so long and I kept going. Like, I'm like, oh, you, this is so fast. Well, I obviously filmed it and you were zip lining for like 30 seconds. That's a long time. When I went skydiving, you only free falled for maybe a minute or two. It didn't take that long. And that was from like 11,000 feet. It didn't take that long to free fall before you had to open your chute. And then it took minutes to get back down to earth. I mean, you're going 120 miles an hour. So anyways, we're rambling a little bit too much today. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one.